This is a deplorable production. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Jazz McKay, you know, the deplorable patriot, and uh, New York Times editorial board member Mara Gay, apparently embroiled in another controversy, a brand new one. This time, she's been triggered by the American flag. <laughs> I've got details for you, it's coming up right after this. Before we go any further, please subscribe to this channel, like and share this video. Also, please visit our website at www.thedeplorablepatriot.com. There's a link in the comments below. The Deplorable Patriot would like to remind you that the CDC recommends you should always wear a life vest, even when you're not near any water. And President Biden says it's the patriotic thing to do. Stay safe, and always, do as we say. Now, back to jazz. Let's hope that some psychiatrist somewhere has uh, some spare time in their busy schedule to take on a new patient. MSNBC contributor and New York Times editorial board member Mara Gay sustained deep emotional trauma after venturing outside the liberal elite bubble that she lives in and witnessing the most horrific sight possible for a big New York City liberal. Dozens of American flags being flown from the backs of cars and trucks while she was on a safari into the untamed wilds of Long Island. Well, I was on Long Island this weekend uh, visiting a really dear friend and I was really disturbed. I saw you know dozens and dozens of pickup trucks with uh, you know uh, explicatives against Joe Biden uh, on the back of them, yep. uh, Trump yep. flags, and in some cases just dozens of American flags which you know, uh, is also just disturbing because essentially the message was clear. It was, this is my country. This is not your yeah. country. I own this. You see, according to liberal establishment doctrine, patriotism is racism. I think uh, as long as they see Americanness as the same as one with whiteness, this is going to continue. Now, uh, Ms. Gay can uh, rest assured that our rulers are on the case. They take this threat very seriously. As a matter of fact, while pandering to black supremacists in uh, Tulsa recently, President Joe Biden proclaimed that white supremacists are, white supremacists, of course, those are uh, anybody who didn't vote for him, are the most lethal threat facing our nation today. The worst terrorist possible are white people. Terrorism from white supremacy is the most lethal threat to the homeland today. Not ISIS, not Al-Qaeda, white supremacists. Now, I would, uh, I would disagree with Uncle Joe on this one. I, 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 I don't think, I, I, I think the most lethal threat to, uh, to our nation's homeland uh, today is not white supremacy by any stretch, or ISIS either for that matter. No, the most lethal threat facing our nation today are teachers' unions. But, uh, you know, that's, that's a, a subject for another day. And I really don't want this uh, critique of Mara Gay's comments the other day to degenerate into a uh, a challenge to her IQ or or anything. Uh, but I mean, after all, she is a highly paid editorial board member at the New York Times. But uh, explicatives, 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 explicatives. Oh, that's that's a new one. But, you know, now that we're on the subject of intelligence, um, this isn't the first controversy that Mara Gay has been embroiled in. How many of you remember uh, when Mara Gay and MSNBC host Brian Williams attempted to do some basic math on live TV uh, about two years ago? The, the, the subject was uh, the literal boatload of money that, that, that Michael Bloomberg had spent on his humiliating and epic fail of a presidential campaign. Um, actually, with the money he spent, he could have given every American a million dollars. I've got it. Let's put it up yeah. on the screen. It, when I read it, 
uh, tonight on social media, it kind of all became clear. Bloomberg spent 500 million on ads. U.S. population, 327 million. Uh, don't tell us if you're ahead of us on the math. He could have given each American one million dollars and have had lunch money left over. It's an incredible way of putting it. It's an incredible way of putting it. It's true. It's disturbing. It does. It does suggest, you know, what we're talking about here, which is there, there's too much money in politics. Five hundred million dollars divided by three hundred and twenty seven million people would not give everybody in the country a million dollars. It would be more like a buck and a half. Oh, well, what do you expect? I mean, after all, math is racist, right? Uh, but wait, that doesn't explain Brian Williams, who's white. Oh, uh, well, maybe he's just an idiot. I'm Jazz McKay, the deplorable patriot. God bless America and death to the new world order. I will see ya. Thanks for watching. Remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel, share to your social media, and leave nasty comments below. Also, please take a moment and visit our website at www.thedeplorablepatriot.com. God bless America and death to the new world order. The Deplorable Patriot would like to remind you that the CDC recommends you always wear your seatbelt, even when you're outside your car. And President Joe Biden says it's the patriotic thing to do. Stay safe and always do as we say. The time is way overdue to cancel the cancel culture. Embracing our liberties and speaking our minds is the best way to counter the woke cancel culture. And if you've been looking for a source for reliable news and opinion geared toward real conservatives and libertarians, I've got good news. Introduce Using the deplorablepatriot.com, a news and information website dedicated to the working hard play and hard men and women of mega country. You'll find up to the minute daily news and opinion from the best writers of the right side of the political world to inspire, inform, and entertain with no woke censorship allowed. Remember, evil is powerless when the good are fearless, and the deplorable patriot lives up to those words every single day with articles from patriots like Thomas L. Knapp, Howard Rourke, John Hawkins, Jazz McKay, and dozens more. Go to the deplorablepatriot.com and subscribe. If conservative principles and American values are important to you, visit the deplorablepatriot.com today. That's the deplorablepatriot.com. God bless America and death to the new world order.